Dwelling homeless camp along the Green River is now the focus of a proposed pilot project. Success will come with the camp's removal and relocation of the people getting them into treatment and housing. You might be asking yourself, hasn't this been going on for years? Well, Fox 13 News reporter Matt Markovich has the answer tonight. We're at 94th Place South in Green River Road in unincorporated King County, which means we're not inside any city limit. And despite the millions of dollars spent every month by King County on homelessness, the money goes to housing and treatment services and not to camp removals. And that's why this camp has been allowed to stay. Yeah. Let's show you. Up in the hills above the Green River, just outside of Kent, roughly 100 people have set up camp, hidden from the street. This is the letter. Deborah is one of them because her rent doubled and she can't afford it. So I've been out here basically for 100 days. It's not pleasant, but I'm 65. It's the first time I've ever been homeless. <laughs> So, so it's it's uh, life threatening. It's land owned by the King County Department of Transportation. Campers have told me they've been living here for years, hoping out of sight means out of mind. It sits overlooking a large youth soccer field and is flanked by the Green River. Anglers used to come here, but because of the camp, few rarely do anymore. Keep going up here. But King County Council Member and Republican candidate for Congress Reagan Dunn is shining a spotlight on this sprawling camp. The political will at King County to remove folks for trespassing doesn't exist. He's proposing a pilot project, a task force focused solely on this camp and its removal to get people into housing, mental health, drug and alcohol treatment. Because if we can't do it in just one parcel of property, how can we do it on a countywide scale in one of the nation's largest counties? King County spends tens of millions of dollars on homelessness every month. But unlike Seattle, it doesn't have an elaborate homelessness response program to camps, relying on the King County Regional Homelessness Authority, which Dunn is very critical of. A series of failed policies of homelessness, uh, not just in Seattle, but in King County. We just got some officials out here coming to take a look at things, all right? All right. It comes down to the county sheriff's department, but the county has a policy that's still COVID adverse and doesn't want county employees to enter camps. So the camps have been allowed to stay. You don't allow people to live like this, but there has to be a point where we as, as a society, a community, a county, whatever you want to say, we have to step in and say such and such behavior is not going to be allowed to continue. The pilot program includes a tough love aspect. If people don't accept services, they will be moved. So I can say we're just people too. One admitted drug user says the camp just needs help. I guess we've been labeled as criminals, but like, I don't know, like, if you guys want to help us, like, give us a dumpster, you know, put something at the bottom of the hill so we can clean up the trash. The county did supply a dumpster once, but non-camp residents would drop off their trash. It became overwhelming, so the dumpster was pulled. Now the trash is simply everywhere. And now notices are up for a garbage removal at this one camp on July 13th by the road division. The last time they did this at this camp, they removed 66,000 pounds of trash in just one day. Now we reached out to the county executive to seek answers about what they're going to do with this camp. The same with the regional homelessness authority. We have not heard back from them yet. Near Kent, Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News.